So you probably watched a how to make $200 a day video and you think that you can do that. You may have watched, oh, I make a $2,000 a week video and you're like, oh yeah, I could be able to do that. It makes sense. You might have watched, oh, I make a thousand dollars a week video. And you're like, hey, I'm gonna do that. That's cool. And it's very possible if you don't live in a rural area. But the biggest thing that that video didn't tell you, you gonna have to work. <laughs> Any number you wanna make, you're gonna have to put in the effort. And you're gonna have to put in the hours. So, are you ready to work? Because you could definitely make it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Nick, and I am the local South Florida Uber driver. I'm local just because you never really know where I'm going to be in the next couple of days, months, years. <laughs> but I primarily work the South Florida market. And in today's video, Man, today I'm giving you the real honest truth about being an Uber driver. <laughs> but before I do, man, y'all know I got to cover the preliminaries today. I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words already. <laughs> Might be because I just woke up. But man, look, if you like that I am a real driver, I'm really out here in these streets. I'm really in a parking lot, <laughs> a parking garage actually. Man, hit the like button because I'm coming to you real and raw. And I'm trying to tell you some things that most drivers, most YouTube talking heads aren't saying. So you should give me a like just for that. <laughs> and if you're new here, you want to see more of my videos. You want to see more of this type of content. As a real driver, I'm really trying to help you. You should hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button so you know when I post, you get a notification. It's all good, man. Every time you check YouTube, you see, hey, you know, he, he posted a video. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. And lastly, I am a certified life insurance agent. I have to keep telling y'all because, listen, life insurance is important. And if you a driver like me, you know, like me, then you putting your life on the line. So why not make sure that your family is covered if something should happen to you? There's been a lot of stories lately of, you know, things happening by these passengers in our back seat. So, you know, just start with 50 bucks a month. It is what it is. Hit the link in the description. Schedule a call. It takes about five minutes. If it works, it works. We good. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I'm, I'm done with the preliminaries, <laughs> I know somebody was like, hallelujah. <laughs> hey, now that we done with the preliminaries, I just want to come real and raw with y'all. Uh, so maybe you seen uh, how to make $200 a day video. Maybe, you know, you, you just, you, you at your job and you like, damn, uh, your boss done got on your nerves, boss telling you to do such and such. And you was like, you know what? Let me just scroll on YouTube. And you might have seen, oh, I make $1,000 a week video. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, you know what I'm saying? You you got, you tried the request off and your HR person told you, D not. <laughs> and you watched the video. Uh, then you, so you was like, all right, cool, man. I'm, I'm trying not to cuss this HR person out because I need my job. And maybe you watch another video, you know, where, where you see like Uber drivers, gig, gig drivers get all of this freedom. And you like, hmm, maybe I could do that. <laughs> maybe I could do that. Maybe I could get really get into it. Maybe that might be my next move. Before you quit your job, before you tell your boss, and your HR person and your supervisor, before you tell them how you really feel, <laughs> take one moment and just, you know, just, just listen to this video. Don't cuss them out yet. You know, don't cuss them out yet. Because what a lot of people don't tell y'all is that you want to be an Uber driver, you want to be a DoorDash driver, you want to be an Amazon Flex person, um, Instacart, 
uh, Grubhub, whatever, uh, Rody. I mean, nobody really does Rody, but yeah, you know, Rody person, whatever. You want to be that type of person. You want to be a gig app. You want to be able to wake up when you want. You want to be able to have no boss. You want to be able to just, hey, listen, I don't want to work today. And don't have to call out, go through the prompts, and <coughs> oh, 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 I'm a little sick today. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I'm coming in. You want to be able to show up late. You, These are all things that we promote as gig tubers, because that, that's what I'm called. Because I make YouTube videos on the gig work. So I'm a gig tuber, you know, hey. I'm a part of the problem, <laughs> but we all make videos on, you know, the freedom that we get. I don't got a boss. I'm out here thugging it. I can start whenever I want to. Like right now it's one o'clock. I ain't started working. <laughs> well, it, these are all the benefits of gig work. So, you know, I get it. You might be coming from a situation and it's like, yo, I want to be able to wake up at one o'clock and still make money. I want to be able to not have to clock in exactly at eight o'clock or clock in when I want to and not be, you know, have money deducted from my paycheck. Listen, slow your roll, jelly roll. <laughs> Before you make that decision and you jump off the porch and you cuss, you know, you, you tell everybody how you feel and you move on to greener pastures. I want to be the person to tell you gig work ain't for everybody it just ain't gig work ain't for everybody it just ain't because you got to understand it's a different market it's a different lifestyle yeah it's true i don't have a boss i mean technically i mean i guess you could say the uber platform is my boss because you start doing some wild and crazy stuff they deactivate you and now you that that's it no more no more local uber driver <laughs> Um, and yeah, I, I technically don't have, I technically don't have a schedule or have to clock in or have to work every single day. I have like a ton of freedom, but I mean, obviously it is times where it's hot. It's times where you would expect people to be out. It's, 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 it's prime time. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not out during the prime time, then, you know, you kind of just getting, you know, the crappy offers that everybody talk about. <laughs> So you, you, you kind of want to be out, you know, during those prime time hours and when there's events and surges and stuff. But again, that's when the traffic is, and you know, so it ain't it ain't it ain't all peaches and cream. I'm gonna be honest, you know. And yeah, yeah, you know, I could make however much money I want. You know, I can make a thousand dollars a week. I could do two hundred dollars a day, five hundred dollars a day. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could really do some crazy numbers. I could do some video game numbers if I wanted to. But, yeah, with all of that, what people don't tell you is you got to be willing to put in that work. And I know a lot of y'all are scared of hours. <laughs> Even though we all come from a W-2 and we were forced to work 40 hours a week. <laughs> we all come from that W-2 lifestyle. So, you know, and it, depending on how long you've been working, everybody here has had to work 40 hours a week. There is no choice <laughs> or whatever hours they give you. I'm just saying. And if you worked at a warehouse, it wasn't 40 hours a week. It was like 60 hours, you know, 70 hours. And to the person that said corrections, <laughs> yeah, you up there. Corrections, police officer, yeah, you up there. Nurse, <laughs> Yeah, it was no choosing your hours. It was, we need help, and you going to be here. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so, yeah, gig work isn't for everybody. You know, because, yeah, you have all of this freedom. But at the end of the day, if you make it full time, your income depends on how hard you work. So, if you're a lazy person... If you come into this with the mindset of, oh, I'm not trying to work 40 hours, how you gonna pay your bills? How? How, Sway? Like, how you gonna pay your bills? You need to at least work 40 hours 
on gig work. You was already doing it with your W-2. At least. <laughs> I don't know, man. Y'all people trip me out. <laughs> you, come, you, you was working 40 hours to pay your bills previously. Then you come to gig work and you're like, oh, I'm only going to work 20 hours. I should be able to pay my bills. No, we... You know that you can get paid really well. You know, there's, you know, if you know your market, you know what you're doing, you're a veteran. You can make that good money, but it's just like 40 hours? Not at least 40 hours? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> how hard the biggest lesson I want to tell you before you cuss out all your people, because you don't watch the video. Or you done you done thought this in your mind, or you want to jump out here and quote unquote make it on your own. How hard you work is gonna determine your income. Very honest, very true. So if you make that switch, listen, baby, you on your own. Because as a gig worker, ain't nobody gonna come save me. <laughs> if I don't deliver that order. DoorDash deactivates my account, which, by the way, they have. So I'm going through the appeal process. So let's look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amazon, if I don't deliver those packages, Amazon deactivates my account, which, again, you know, hey, you know, appeal process. <laughs> you might be like, why did you get deactivated? Because ain't nobody going to save you. <laughs> These passages are crazy. Y'all don't understand. These When I say they're crazy, they will report you for the stupidest stuff because they want a free item because the companies just reimbursed them. Oh, he said this. All right, refund. Oh, okay, refund. Oh, okay, refund. Oh, it, it, you know, your, your package came to you and it had a little bit of dirt, dirt on it. Oh, refund. But guess what? They sent the refund to the customer because they want to be good with the customer. But guess what happens to your account, to my account in this situation? Deactivated. Oh, you didn't you didn't send that package. You didn't leave that package. But they got the package. That's what they was complaining about. Oh yeah, deactivated. So listen, before you make that jump, understand ain't nobody gonna save you. And if you ain't willing to work, you ain't gonna make no money. You can't pay your bills working five hours a week. I'm just gonna tell you that. Especially not right now, because this ain't the busy season. So look. You know, I feel like I'm kind of rambling now, but the whole to wrap it all up before you make that decision, understand that if you coming on this side, you got to be willing to work because you're working for yourself. Now, it's a difference. You was already committed to working 40 hours a week for whatever job you worked. Plus, if you was in sales, you, you know, you had to work more. <laughs> if you was in as a nurse, if you was, I don't know, warehouse worker. Man, y'all know y'all had to work more. Don't lie to me. I used to be that. <laughs> you was willing to work that. If you was in a restaurant, you had to work those extra hours. So when you come on this side, it's for you, baby. It's for you. So why wouldn't you be willing to work that? Now, yes, you get that freedom once you understand what you're doing. You start learning the times and all of that stuff. But you got to get there. <laughs> so... Yeah, but with that, with that being said, man, I'm out of here. I just wanted to make this quick video and tell y'all for real, for real, what the real is. So, all right, I'm done. <laughs> Deuces.